As advanced materials for functional and use 3D printed parts and dual extrusion 3D printers have become more prevalent, support materials have been slow to follow up. You need something for higher temperature materials like nylon, nylon X, nylon G and ABS, but you also need something that's dissolvable so you can use it for those intricate internal features. Well, let's talk about ionic hybrid support material. The industry standard for supporting PLA has been PVA. Their similar printing temperature means that PVA sticks well to PLA, it prints easily, and when you need it to, it dissolves away cleanly using just tap water, but this hasn't been true for higher temperature materials. Ionic hybrid support material has been developed to work specifically with nylon, including nylon X and nylon G, due to the higher printing temperature. So supports stick better and don't melt or warp away like other support materials might. And because of this higher temperature, other materials in a similar range like ABS, PTG, Rhino, and TPU also work exceptionally well with Ionic. Thanks to the chemical makeup of Ionic, after printing it can be dissolved away in regular tap water. Where other materials may need a chemical bath or a careful disposal procedure, Ionic can be disposed of down the drain. Without that ability to dissolve supports, some parts will have internal cavities that can't have the supports cleaned out, or they have to rely on the 3D print coming out okay at best without supports at all. Ionic is a hybrid support material because not only does it behave as a dissolvable, it also behaves as a breakaway support material. It can be removed from your finished 3D prints using regular tools as well. Before you set out to soak your finished 3D printed part to dissolve the support materials, you can break off some of the support to cut down on post-processing time. Then, you can put this in tap water to dissolve away the rest in the hard-to-reach areas or anywhere where the actual model is touching supports so you don't damage them with your removal tools. Most will want to use ionic support materials specifically with a dual extrusion setup and if the 3D models have steep overhangs and internal geometry that tools can't reach. Manifolds, brackets, jigs, fixtures, really anything 3D printed that is functional and needs the support to back it up is what ionic was designed for. While Ionic doesn't require using an all-metal hotend, if the build material you're printing with does, then it's recommended to use one for Ionic as well. For best results, Ionic should be printed at a temperature as close to the same as your build material while staying within the temperature range of Ionic. The temperature range for Ionic is between 230 degrees Celsius and 250 degrees Celsius for the nozzle, and 60 degrees Celsius to 90 degrees Celsius for the print bed. This is what allows it to be paired with many different filaments since the print settings are very accommodating for a lot of different materials. Ionic dissolves in water, which means it's also very hygroscopic. So like you do with any other filament that likes to drink up water from the air, like nylon or PVA, be sure to dry it before printing in a vacuum oven, or you can use a print dry filament drying system to dry it and also keep it dry while you're 3D printing your parts. The ideal removal process has something to agitate a bath of warm tap water like a pump to circulate the water around it. It's not required, it just speeds things up. Use a container that is significantly larger than your 3D printed part because the water will get saturated over time with the ionic support material. So to prevent changing it too often, just start with a big container, that way you don't have to change out the water frequently. Supporting advanced higher temperature materials is a breeze thanks to ionic hybrid support material. It's available in both 1.75 millimeter and three millimeter diameter, so you can start printing no matter the dual extrusion setup you have. To order your spool today, go to matterhackers.com. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that tech breakdown on the Ionic Hybrid support material. If you want to stay tuned for all the other tech breakdowns we'll be doing, be sure to hit that subscribe down below. See you on the next one.